Boys and girls of all ages, you are welcome to the much anticipated, heavy loaded relationship debate show of the century. It's Battle of the Sexes. My name is Crystal Kwame Ayi, and I will be your host all through the show. It's one man against one woman as we battle out a topic, an issue that affects both men and women. Now, we, we love men and women. Men and women love each other so much. And there's a saying that men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Today, we get to find out if that's actually true and see who exactly uh, can actually battle out their side for the better. This is going to be an amazing show, absolutely fantastic. And you are a part of this show because you get to choose who the winner will be. Now, whoever wins this week sits in for the next week. And so the winner stays and the loser is replaced. You put a winner and it go away. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be heated. We need you to be a part of the show. And so we are live on Facebook as well. Let us know what your comments are as we go through the show. Uh, you can send in your comments all through on Twitter. Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram. Let's get to talking. I know these are things that affect you and I and everyone across the world. So let's get to talking. Let's make this interesting. As we go along, I will let you know how you can vote in as well. But on WhatsApp, you can be very active with us. I'll announce the numbers as we go through and you can see them on your screens as well. Right now, I have a question that I would like to ask you. And this question really is, is your partner, right? If your partner were to give you if you were to give your partner uh, your phone, would they find something that would actually put you and your relationship in trouble? If you were to give your partner your phone, all access, would they have trouble with something that they find in? Let me know, let me know what you think about that all through our uh, social media handles uh, as well, at TV3 Ghana on TV3, at TV3 Ghana on Twitter and on Instagram as well. We would like to know. Now the heat is turning up, but before I call in the debaters for today, I would like you to know that we have a little prank that we played. We went through town uh, some time ago, we went through town to play a prank on some couples. We looked around and we found one and we played that same game on them. We had them do a phone swap. All right, so let's see what unfolded. Let go. messages all that she wants to see and see what will brew out of this so are you ready 60 seconds on the clock and it starts now you get to look at your partner's phones through their messages through their photographs and if you see anything disturbing or exciting Get to know all the classes. You're sweaty! Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Are you sure? Well, well, well. 
This is how it goes down. We come to you with relationship pranks, and this one is phone swap. Are you comfortable giving your partner your phone? Are you comfortable exchanging phones and seeing whatever happens to you? And are you comfortable with whatever information you see? Welcome to Battle on the Sex. <laughs> These are the little things that cause the world to shake, and we love the world just as it is. Now it's time for us to get to see who our debaters are going to be for today. Those who are bringing the fire and come to set your screen ablaze are ready for us right now. Let's take a little look at who they are. Yeah, beautiful one, handsome indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment that we've all been waiting for. And it is my pleasure to announce on my left corner, the pink corner, the two Zafi eating Afro Kelly, bed in, sleeping in bed, you know, and acting like she is busy. She is coming on stage right now, ladies and gentlemen, with a round of applause. Help me welcome Tracy, a.k.a. Zuzu. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you can take a seat, Tracy. It's about to get crazy up in here, ladies and gentlemen. One side is here. And right now on my right corner, which is the blue corner, he's a Fufu and Siobhan loving gentleman. His favorite pet is a Caucasian dog. Ooh. And his favorite hairstyle is a black fade. Let us welcome the romance king, Michael. Miguel, Miguel, Miguel. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. <laughs> so I called you like what some of my friends would call you. Michael, Miguel, Michael, Miguel. Since you're romantic, my girl. It's right? Always. It's all good. How are you doing today? <laughs> Trey, Trey? Yeah. I'm very good, I'm, and I'm ready for him. Hey, I'm, that's right. I'm ready Show for him. you. I am ready for you. Awesome. Are you ready as well? We live to see. We live to see. <laughs> Tell me what you think about the pranks, uh, the prank video that we just showed. Um, that's reality. It's been happening. Yeah. So, um, when I see her run, because... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> like you've been on the show before. Come on. <laughs> All right. Tracy, I want to know uh, what you thought as well. Um, I think being in a relationship, it's just a boyfriend-girlfriend thing. So, I think there shouldn't be any exchange eh. of... Unless, of course, I'm married. Because right now, the queue... Hey, I yes, I'm still, you know, doing my selections. All right. Well, we'll get to know more about Tracy in a few seconds. I'm going to ask you a quick question and you just answer. Bah, 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 and we go. All right, okay. Tracy, I'll start with you. What would you prefer to do on a date? Movies or dinner? Dinner. Movies or dinner? Miguel? Dinner. Dinner. All right. Love or money? Love. Love or money? Trey? Ah, Zuzu, love or money, love or money, love or money, love, love, love. 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 All right. Uh, would you prefer a tall guy or a short guy? A tall guy. Hey, come on now. You're giving them pressure. A tall guy. All right. Miguel, would you prefer a tall lady or a short lady? Obvious. I mean, short. I mean. You are short? Yes. You are short. So you want a short lady? Yes. Ah, okay. All right. That's <laughs> good. Paris or Dubai? Dubai. Dude, Dubai. Okay, Paris or Dubai? Dubai. Hey, y'all have a lot in common. Becca or Effia? If you are all yeah. day. Yeah. Of course. If you are all Becca. If you are. If you are. Hey, if you are as well. And all right, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. We have our debaters for today. Miguel in the blue corner. And we have Tracy in the pink corner. We are going to go pound for pound right after the break. <laughs> Let your friends and family know we are live on Facebook as well. And don't forget to send in your comments at, uh, at TV3 Ghana on all platforms. And hashtag TV3 Battle of the sexes we'll be back after the break don't go anywhere <laughs> uh, it's the first episode of battle of the sexes where one man and one woman battle out an issue that pertains to both men and women in relationships and all other relations as they live on this earth and today we have a topic that we would like to go through let's see who the best debater is now i don't have a side because i'm just here to have fun and experience what they have to say as well but you 
have to have a side because you determine who the winner is. And so we would like for you to co continue to comment on our Facebook pages. Keep voting. Listen out for the right debates on who speaks to you and let us know who the winner should be for today. We are available on TV3, uh, Ghana, at TV3 Ghana, pardon me, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. Or you can just comment on our page uh, on the post and let us know who you think should win. Let us see your comments as well. Hashtag at TV3 Battle of the Sexes. Now we're on with the new one. WhatsApp message. Keep sending your comments as well. 050-477-1990. And you can get that also on the screen. Now, the topic for today. Should a woman be given a deadline to accept a love proposal? Should a woman be given a deadline to accept a love proposal? I'll start with you, Tracy. Which side are you taking? Okay, so I'm against the motion. Okay. A woman shouldn't be given it. A deadline line, to accept a love proposal. And you, Miguel, you're obviously <laughs> on the other side, right? All right. So we'll start then with Tracy. You have four minutes each. And please, you're not insulting anyone. We love each other. And so it's as simple as that, all right? You have four minutes each. And if you're ready, let go. I'm ready. Um, I think a woman shouldn't be given a deadline to accept anything, mm. any proposal. In life, I think we all deserve to have time in making decisions. Men may come in and say that there are some women, yeah, I agree with them. There are some women you propose to them and they go like, oh, give me time. Tomorrow, yeah, they'll drag it six months, even a year. It's, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't agree with that. But then I would, like, I would like to ask you, I would like to ask that if a man, before a man goes to propose to a woman, what do they do? They sit down, check this woman out, ask questions, whether or not the woman is compatible to them. Her attitude, is she someone who can compliment me? You ask all those questions before you come in. To, you even make that bold step. So why, why don't you, isn't it fair enough to give the woman that same time? At that moment when you were, you know, asking yourself those questions, was there any deadline for you? There was no deadline. It was until you were satisfied. That is when you went in to ask. And I would like you to look at it from this perspective. You see, I have my space, a space I enjoy alone. So today, if you're coming into my life, that means I'm going to share that space with you. So if you are coming in, I would have to psych myself psychologically. Am I ready? Maybe I am an indoor person. You are someone who likes to party. I would have to ask myself, am I ready to now start going out with my boyfriend? Am I someone who is ready to, you know, make decisions and put and consider you? I have to psych myself psychologically before I make a decision whether or not to accept or not. The love there, it is there. Who told you that ladies want time to see whether you are handsome or you have a big bank account? It is never like that. It is never like that. We actually sit down to think about our psychology, like mm. how we are going to accept you into our space. If I'm someone who do not like to call, to make calls, and that is what you want to do. I would have to consider that. I wouldn't say, oh, it should be about me. Master, me dear, me say text me and friend me be, no, me dear, me pay calls. No, it shouldn't be like that. Who told you that? I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, now at this point, who, wh why wouldn't you give the person a deadline? Because would you let the person wait forever? No. Um, I would like to also ask you, uh -huh. even in class, mm. even in class, we all have a pace at which we learn. Okay. We have someone placing first and we have someone placing last. In class, you would, you would bear with me that when a teacher teaches something, we have people saying they don't understand and we have other people saying they understand. So the timeline, um, the rate at which I absorb things, I, I, I reason with things, that is not the same rate a queer would also do same. Do you understand? So if you are telling me that because the queer used a day to accept Kwame's proposal, you are coming in, Amma, I should also use a day to accept. No, it doesn't work that way. And trust me, I don't know whether you've heard the song, um, love is kind, love is patient. Have you heard? <laughs> love is patient. Yeah. It is actually time that this determines yeah. whether the, the man, um, it is time that determines lust and love. Yeah. As time goes on, if it's lust, you would know. If it is mm. love, you would know. You should have patience and you should wait. If you love someone, hey, even and now Corona, I was say by June, now you know, nah, kill out. You look like you have something to say though. So you are in a hurry. Open you them. You don't open them. I'm a girl, no, I accept to propose because who's really say Corona by June, the end, you know, and now then, why are you in a hurry too? I see. Why are you so, you have to accept my proposal. So for me, I don't think 
there should be, it is not necessary to give anybody a deadline to accept your proposal. Okay, right. You've used your time wisely. Do you have anything to say to that, Miguel? No? No? Um, the only thing I can say yeah. is you just spoke like a 21-year-old girl. Oh, okay. wow. And now I'll explain. Oh, wow. Mm. <laughs> okay. Well, your time also, uh, her time is up, but your time actually now starts. And so if you're ready for me, in three, two, one, let go. You see, Tracy, we are cans. We have a proverb. Yes, it's a owa kauda and our uhunsun no. Okay. What does it mean? There's no, there's no experienced woman who will be able to determine or decide on a man at the age of, let's say, her late twenties. Okay. You are talking like a twenty-one-year-old girl who knows no, who has no experience about any relationship. Why am I saying that? If you've been in some bad breaks, I mean, if you've been in some bad relationships, let's say one, two, or three. When you hit the age of 27, 28, 29, you should be able to tell if this man is real or not. Within even a month, let me finish. If you want to know who a real man is, I have, I have my own philosophy. I have these three Fs. The first F is the man's family. Why the man's family? Check how he treats his mother, his daughter, his sister. That's the same way he treats you. If you can't observe this between a month or two or three, then probably if you've not been in a relationship before, maybe you always... Pay attention to what they show on television. But don't you think three months is too short? Well, don't you think three months is too short? Well, yeah. three or maximum six months. Okay. Second F, check his faith. When I say faith, check his covenant, his, his relationship with God. Fine, some men can fake it. How will you know if this man has a good relationship with God? That's why you pray for what? The spirit of discernment. The spirit of discernment will tell you that, oh, this man is for real. The third F, is the man's finance. Now, any man who is able to tell you how he makes his money, even as low as 10 cities, that's a, a faithful, sincere man that you can decide on within maximum six months. You don't, why are you waiting for the man to go angel wings? Why would a lady give a man a whole stretch of two years? Do you want the angels from heaven to descend and mm -hmm. give your man a trumpet to play before you're like, oh, this is the man God has for me? Wrong. Any woman today on earth who has been through over four relationships can tell who a real man is at the age of 30. It's as simple as that. Most women today are naive. They are ignorant. They go with their flesh. They go with their flesh. They are looking at what they will get from the man, mm. um, how he talks. His educational level is wrong. Mm. I can give you an example. I can give you an example. Despite had no education. Number two, I can give you another example. When real women see real men, they see it. Those are women that pray a lot and have the spirit of discernment. Wow. Now, if you want to be able to choose wow. a man, be prayerful. Simple. God will never lie to you. Now, don't, don't have men in queue and be trying. Do you know why women delay in choosing a man? Because they have queues. That's what you think. If you have one man in mind and you want to give him some time to decide on him, it wouldn't take you more than six months. It's as easy as that. Really? I'm speaking from experience. But, but don't you think that it, it depends on uh, everyone's li lifetime? You know, everyone is different. And so God can speak to anyone at different points in time. Um, um, Crystal, mm. when you are a spiritual inclined person, mm. even choosing a job, mm. God can speak to you. Mm. It's as simple as that. In any relationship, let me tell you, when we were as young as our early 20s, we we're playing around. Me, I laugh at women between the ages of 20 to 24 that say, I have a boyfriend. I laugh at you. That's not a relationship. It's a fling. Are you sure? Some people have actually sealed that. That's real. That's Are you rare. sure? It's one out of ten. You sure? It's one out of ten. <laughs> I have some girls that say, oh, I met, my boy, I met my husband when we were very young. Fine, maybe that was your destiny. But let me tell you, in real life, in real life, real relationship happens from the age of 27. That is why most women, most corporate women today that are above 30 years, mm. you might think they are dating. They are not. Do you know why? Once upon a time, they used to change, flip. They were not sure, oh, I like this guy. When, when the guy flops her, she goes to another person. Now, in, this, they go like anything I want. So, Tracy, it's simple. It's simple. If you want to choose a man, right. first go to God. Give yourself a time range of maximum six months. Mm. Trust me, God will speak to you. It's as simple as that. I see. Mm. All right. Well, your time is up now. We've had both uh, debaters give us their opening statements, their open arguments. And you can also uh, let us know what you think about both of their arguments since you've heard the beginning of things. Who do you think you support right now? Are you for Tracy or are you for Miguel? Let us know. Hashtag uh, TV3 Battle of the Sexes. Keep tweeting. Keep sending us uh, messages on Facebook. And we're also expecting your WhatsApp message at uh, 020 477 we will also open the phone lines, pardon me, 050 
477190. We'll also be expecting your calls. We'll open the phone lines very soon. 036 Again, you can call 0302. Oh, pardon me. Pardon me. 036 Eight. So that's the number to call 036-219-6548. And then you get to let us know what you think about it and who you think should win for today. Keep your votes coming in. And right now, we'll move on to the next. All right. Okay, so what's going to happen right now is that uh, we'll be taking phone calls. But I want you to ask each other one question each. I'm sure after all of this, you have a question each. So please. Ladies Tracy. First. Okay. So I'd like to ask you, you kept on telling me, saying that uh, within, within a month, I don't think when we are praying, within, a, within three months, six months, God should answer you. I've been praying since from childhood. I've mm. been praying, you know, God doesn't use some particular time, three months to answer prayers. Someone can pray and within a day, God can answer. Someone can pray within a, it has to take like even 10 years, <laughs> sometimes more than 10 years. So if you are arguing from that perspective, I really don't agree with you at all because God comes into our life. God answers our prayers as and when yeah. he wants to. So if you're telling me that within six months, God should answer my prayer and then tell me whether you are the right person. I don't agree with you. And then another thing, I also want you, you mentioned a whole lot of things. All those things you mentioned. Mm. You said if a man is good, that you should look at okay. how the man treats the Hold wife. Hold on, Tracy, right now. Um, we have a call out right now, uh, calling in to let us know who they should win. Hi, I'm Bros from Half Asine. How are you? Yeah. yeah. Great. Uh, who do you think should stay for next week? Who do you think the winner should be? I'm for the man. Oh, yeah, for the man. Not because you're a yes. man, but because you agree with his agreement? With, with his argument? No, no, not that, not that he's because, I'm a, uh, because I'm a man, but the way the man speaks. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you so much for calling, Ambrose. Thank you for calling. All right. We'll take more calls coming in. So I, I think that um, even with what you said, mm -hmm. I think some, we deserve time. With all what you said, if I, if, I, if I, as a woman, if I want to know you, I should look at how you treat your, your mother. Mm -hmm. yeah. How am I supposed to know how you treat your mother? You'd yeah. have to give me time to learn, to, to know how you treat your mother. That's a good one you brought up as well, Miguel. Let me, let me answer your question. You were like, you've been praying since childhood. Yes. Any prayer topic you address to God, he asks you, are you ready? Are you God? <laughs> okay, I've had, I've had experience with God because I'm, I'm a spiritual person. Okay. Put entertainment please, aside. Please hold that thought. Don't hold that thought. Don't forget what you were saying. We have Moses from Impriso on the line. Hi, Moses. Hello, Moses. Moses, are you there? Hello. Yes, who do you think should be the winner for this week's episode? Who should stay in the seat? I'm for the man. Eh, okay, all right. Yes. Thank you so much I'm for calling. Great. Thank the you. Man, the man speaks, he speaks manually. He knows what he's doing. He knows. Oh, I'm okay. I see. All right. The we have interest in one company. Yes. I'm for him. So you're for him. All right. Thank you so much for he calling. He the lady speaks Spanish. So what he, when he started, he said the lady speaks Spanish. Okay, all right. Thank you so much for calling. You can send your, you can keep calling at 36 6548 And let us know what you think as well, who you think should be the winner for tonight uh, on TV3, at TV3 Ghana on all social media platforms. And keep tweeting, keep sending us Facebook messages, hashtag battle of the sexes. Miguel, you were speaking. Good. So, um, if you're not ready for anything, don't even address that prayer topic to God. What would... A young lady as young as 18, between 18 to 21, asked God to open a marriage door for her. For what? Within that time period, you're schooling. Fine. If you want to marry at that age, that's your bad. To me, with my experience, I ask God pair if mm. I'm ready. A lot of women today ask God if the man they are dating is the one. Mm. No. When you want to really know who your partner is, you have to stay neutral. Have you dated someone? Okay. Tracy, mm -hmm. you hold that thought, okay? We have a call from Augustine in Bulga. Augustine, how are you? I'm fine. Great. Who do you think should be the winner for today? Who's making a better argument in your uh, the, judgment? The man, the man is making a better argument. He you knows so? what he's saying. Why? Exactly. Why? Because, because if you look at it, you cannot just, you cannot just open the door for... Uh, the lady, what of if he, he keep on 
thinking and thinking infinity. Yeah. At least you should have a limit so that you should be able to decide on you whether you are the right person or not. I see. But you cannot just have an infinity uh, decision to decide on whether you are the right person or not. And more to the point, you should ask God. And God answered prayers, but God doesn't have infinity for things. I see. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you so much for calling. And uh, we'll take the last, uh, you know, your closing arguments right now. Tracy, you were saying? Yes. I, like I was saying, um, I think I still stand by the fact that women should not be given, uh, women should not be given a deadline in when they are being proposed to. Because I think patience, if you love someone, you will be patient enough. Mm. You would wait. You would wait. You would wait. So wait. Why are you in a rush to? You are not in a rush. Is someone telling you if this girl doesn't accept your proposal within this time frame, you are mm. going to die? No. I think even that time frame um, becomes a pressure okay. to the girl. And the, it's even a red flag to the girl. She begins to think this guy will be a bully. If you are giving me okay. within three months, that means in a relationship, it's always going to be about what you want me to do. do you because you are always approaching men with your physical eye. And that's the results you get. Okay. Now, even all right, Miguel. Do you know what? You hold on. We have a caller, um, Edna from Abo. Edna, how are you? I'm good, and you? Very well, thank you. Who do you think should win tonight? Yeah, the man. All he's saying is about trust and faith. Okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah, just that my sister doesn't have that kind of trust in God. That's why he, he keeps on praying, and he doesn't answer her prayers. Okay. And, and more to see her prayer requests are many. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for calling. Very true. <laughs> we have some comments also coming in online. Um, Giovanni says, this one, they are support Tracy and, and, and Miguel. I come for. It will end in sweet tears. And that's also from uh, Giovanni. We have more coming in. This guy, the talk sense. Wow. Yay. And... Uh, Miguel says, okay, they say, hey, Miguel, hey, when you start, when you start praying, <laughs> all right, you are on point, so another one coming in. Well, uh, thank you so much for tuning in and joining us on Battle of the Sexes, the first episode. We have our winners for tonight. I'd like to know, producer, who is the winner for tonight? Definitely me. Uh-huh. 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 All right, and so... As we collate, as we, uh, we get that information, I'd like you to know that we're still available on uh, Facebook. Let us keep knowing what, who you think should be the winner. And, okay, per our Facebook comments. All right, we have a winner for tonight. Is it Miguel or is it Tracy? Miguel. And per our Facebook comments, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Tracy. We had a lot of comments coming in, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! We had a lot of comments coming in. And unfortunately, we couldn't read all of them. But thank you for participating. We'll come again to you, with you, uh, to you with the second episode of Battle of the Sexes next week. Next up is Lady Sackle. So stay tuned. <laughs>